Well, trick surfing, hot dogging. Some people don't like it, some people love it. It really impresses the people that don't surf. <laughs> Yeah, I just like, to, you know, I like to push myself as hard as I can and, and doing big airs and, and gnarly moves and stuff like tricks and stuff. It's just a way of just showing my aggression. And... The reason why I try tricks is because I just like to surf with my brother a lot and he's always trying them and whatever he's trying to pull, you know, I'm going to try to pull even better so we're always pushing each other. And... Definitely a dangerous side to this. I mean, you're not surfing waves that are going to drown you, but you're doing something that's definitely capable of cutting you open really bad. I would call the type of surfing that we do is high performance and uh, extremely aggressive, but not aggro. <laughs> Don't be afraid to experiment with creative surfing. This is a trick tip video, and this is probably one of the first that you're going to see like it, and probably the best one. So check it out. You're going to see some mean aerials and um, get to learn how to do them, you know, from the best guys that do your airs that you like to see. And you'll be able to do them after watching this video. Hi everyone out there, my name's Shay Lopez. I'm not much of a trickster, but that's why I guess I got the front side aerial part of the trick tips. The first experience with aerials I had was in skateboarding. We had a, like a four or five foot quarter pipe in our driveway and we'd go down and do backside grab rail airs, real front sides. And it's kind of the same, same thing you can be used in surfing where you just have to get used to that weightlessness. So as you drop in, you accelerate down the line and then when you get to that point, you're going to be on the lip just as it's throwing up and out and pushing you out. And then you just um, Kind of after that, it just throws you up in the air and you look for a soft spot to land. It's a landing, you know, a lot of people can get up in the air high, but not that many can really pull big frontside airs consistently. So the key is um, to find that soft spot where you can either land and, you know, stay straight or go into a layback and come up out of the layback. Because uh, if you don't find that soft spot, you'll break a lot of surfboards. <laughs> Sometimes you uh, do an aerial as you're going down the line land it clean and you can just go right in another turn and you know I think that's where uh, aerials can really come in a big part in surfing contests if you can do a big air and then finish it up with a big carve. This relates nothing to frontside aerials and does not help my frontside aerial at all. Oh it's a line drive up the middle. Ten right for Bill.
I'm Jay Larson, and I'm here to talk to you about high performance surfing. And I concentrate on a specific move. It's one of my favorite, the layback snap. I look at either doing a quick snappy gouge or a more drawn out turn. Now on these quick gougy snaps, you want to come hard off the bottom and kind of keep your weight on your tail, throw it up into the face, and then when you're about to start to release, make sure your rail's in the water, keeping your weight above your board and, and, and letting it follow through. Don't try to force it through. Just if you've got the tail released, it's going to slide around for you. Just make sure you keep your weight over your board. And on these open face carvey turns, it's more kind of like drawn out into a cutback or a carve, and you're using more of your rail than the more of your tail power. So you're using your rail, trying to just release the two outer fins, keeping at least one in, and at the same time keeping your weight and line drawn out in a smooth, smooth uh, matter. You know, you don't want to push it too hard. Because once you push it, you're going to lose it. I see too many people trying to kick their boards out, like flying away from them or you know, losing their balance and stuff. If you're low center of gravity, you gotta stay compact throughout the whole turn. You can't extend your legs unless, unless you got your weight above your board. It's the only way you're gonna pull them. Now that I talked to you about doing the open face layback snap, I wanna talk to you about the off the lip or breaking section layback. Hell yeah! Uh. Now to do these, you're using more of the lip than the wave itself. You want to come up and do like a, like say you want to do just a big lipper, but you want to come about the same way as open face. Either come off hard, throw your tail through the lip, and try to keep your weight above the lip coming down with it while releasing your tail. So you're coming up, you're throwing your tail through the lip, but you're not pushing it too hard. You're letting the wave bring you back into it. And then that's, it's a little more tricky because you're relying more on the wave itself and the lip than your low center of gravity and your balance. And then there's also ones where you could come off the closeout section or the braking section down the line and you do the same thing where you, you come off, you throw your tail through the lip, either laying back on your back in the white water or staying above your board and, and just you letting the wave slide you back down. It's all about balance and low center of gravity. Different situations that, that, that need different things. Like sometimes you might have one foot on or you might not even be on your board, but you might be able to stay in the white water or something and grab your rail and pull yourself back up. You know, as long as you, as long as you stay above your board, it's, you're gonna have a better chance of pulling it off. Now that I've given you guys some quick tips about how to do the layback snap, I hope you can incorporate this in your everyday surfing. <laughs> Hi, my name is Christopher Struther, and I'm here to tell you how to do one of the basic, but one of the better maneuvers in surfing when done right, and that's the reverse. You got your two types of reverses. You got the front side reverse and the back side reverse. There's many different ways you can do it, but I think the correct way, I'm going to tell you how I think it's the correct way. And I think that would be, first you come off the bottom, a lot of speed, so you come at the lip with a lot of speed. As you're about to hit the lip, just push really hard on your tail, kind of like you're going to bash really hard, and last second throw your weight forward, and that'll bring your tail around. Once your tail is around, shift your weight back to your tail again, and that'll let the wave do the rest, and that'll kind of pull you around once your tail is planted. That's basically how you do it. When you're not doing that, you can be at home choking your chicken like this. <laughs> That's it.
that's all she wrote. for 17 years. I'm here to tell you a little about aerial maneuvers and progressive surfing and um, I hope you like it so check it out. Um, when you're looking for you know the backside air or something, you want to get high, you want to, you know, you want to have a lot of speed and um, the arc off the bottom turn is how you kind of decide on how high you're going to get you know, and where you're going to place yourself. If you have a lot of speed and you go down low on the wave and you come up with more of an angle like straight up on the wave and you have a lot of speed and you carry a higher air. Whereas if you're just on, you know, your arc at the bottom turn is great and you're coming off at less of a vertical angle, you're, gonna, you're not going to get as high, but you'll still get an air. But you know, if you can get a good arc off the bottom turn and just slam it up more towards vertical, you're going to get a real high air. And throw it right up from that into the grab rail. You know, say in front of your front foot, kind of switch your weight, point the nose down. And that's where you're coming up for your landing. You just gotta you know, land on top of the wave. You don't wanna, you don't wanna air out into the flats. If you're on the flats, you're doing it all wrong. You can still pull it and break your foot. But, uh, yeah, and after that, after you get airs down, you know you can change your grabs. If, you know, grab your tail or grab the other side, double grab. There's all kinds of stuff you can do when you're up there. Do a judo air like Christian Fletcher. You can do whatever. You know, you can, I want to try and start flipping my board around and stuff, and just like grab it, like the skaters, and grab it and flip it around, land on it backwards, and stuff like that. But you know, it's just stuff to try. and as you can tell my privacy is being a bit invaded by trick tips but um, I'm here today on the can to tell you about the 180 air choppy or chop hop or as my good friend Pat O'Connell's put it the flying squirrel or pickle spin now the 180 air is a pretty basic aspect of trick surfing but um, it can be used in several different ways and uh, you can either do it in the flats or out on the shoulder of the wave even put it into the tranny if you will but uh, First off, you want to look for a bump or a chop in the water that you can hit. You want to hit that and then basically it's like an ollie on a skateboard. You're going to be jumping up, pushing on your back foot, jumping up with your front foot to get your board out of the water. And once you get that far and you get out of the water, you want to twist kind of with your back arm and let your back arm kind of flow back around your backside. And that's going to bring your back foot and your whole body is going to shift around in the 180 motion. Um, you don't necessarily have to be that high. but uh, once you get the fins out and you're flying around, you want to concentrate on the landing and that's the most important part. When you go to stick it, you have your weight centered over your board and you're directly over your board so you can have control of the landing. And when you do that, push down on your feet, get those fins in the water, 
you can feel the momentum of your body coming around, which will spin you around in the 180 motion, and then you will most likely have completed the 180 air or flying squirrel. Yeah, and don't forget this 180 air is a filler filler move. You don't want to be wasting any good parts of the way where you can get too right or off the lip. Just keep in mind that you want to be on the flats or on the shoulder, and uh, once you get those down, you can start using better sections to, to launch off it, but don't waste them when you can be hitting it and pulling it. How's it going? I'm Joe Primo and I'm going to explain how I do varials. Try to get detailed about it. I think the best thing to do to start off is visualize it in your head first and know exactly where you need to be on your board so that way when you're actually doing it in reality, you're in the safe spot so you don't hurt yourself by just going for it, you know, from the start with no, pro you know, with no planned out approach. So maybe just grab your surfboard in, in your bedroom and, and spin it underneath your feet just to know where you should probably land or where you would want to land. So what you do is you get enough speed to do it. You pick your spot you're going to do it at. You come up and you do a backside aerial. You use your back foot to spin your board around beneath your feet. And when you see it's in the right spot, you put your front foot to the tail pad and connect with it. And once you made that connection, you know that you're going to pull the maneuver if you just stick with it. So from there on, you come back into the wave tail first, which would make you switch stance because your fins are in front of you. And um, from there on, you um, the wave's really steep and going real fast. You'll probably spin right around and keep going switch stance. If the wave has a little more of a flat spot to it, you can gain control and ride fins first for a while and spin out of it or do whatever you think you know your imagination tells you to do. But the main thing is is catching it with your front foot in the air and taking it to the flats or to the bottom of the wave and pulling it. It's kind of a matchup to where if you're skateboarding, you can try to ollie off a curb and if you don't click your tail right, you're not gonna go that far, but if you just get that right snap at the right moment, you're gonna go way further than you would. So it's all timing with the wave, whether it's a bump or a good wave. I mean, if you're gonna embarrass yourself or you're gonna try the same thing over and over again, um, do it because if you're doing it with the right attitude and you want to accomplish something, you know, it's a give take, you know, people can categorize things however they want, but, you know, just practice and approach it with the right attitude and you can do what you want pretty much and burials are pretty much a basic maneuver. It's not too technical, it's not too critical, it's a small taste of what can be done, but you can do it and if you approach it right and you practice enough, you can do it. What's up? My name is Justin Madison, and I'm going to be explaining to you how to do a front side 180 air. I like to call it a one motion, so let's get to it. You do this maneuver front side or back side, it really doesn't matter too much. 
First, you want to go down the wave, get a lot of speed. The spot where you want to ollie off of either a bump or chop. Once you ollie off of the bump, you're in the air. You want to rotate your body front side so that your legs and your board will follow. And once your fins are out in front of you, and you're pretty much tail first in front of the wave, you want to spot a place to land. Usually it's a good idea to just keep your head down so you can see where your board is on your feet and where the wave is underneath you. And so once you find a good place to land, land it, stick it hard so that when you do, the fins will want to grab and you can either ride down the wave straight or you can spin it around with your momentum considered a one motion. And um, after that, you can go into another maneuver or just ride away and pull out. It's all up to you. It's just uh, a maneuver I've been working on for you know a little while, and it's it's actually a really easy maneuver. Um, it's just a matter of practicing it, I guess. You know, it's similar to a, just a basic 360, but it's it's the timing. You know, you got to wait for the lip to kind of pitch out a little more than just like when you do an air, you kind of got to wait just right so it launches you up. But now the oop, you got to wait just a little more. So it kind of launches you back into the wave, you know? Because usually you could do them when you're doing a kick out, you know, basic. But when you're, you know, when you're driving down the line, you kind of, you almost want to bottom turn a half face. And when that lip hits your board, it kind of lofts you out towards the flats. But usually you'll land on the top of the lip, you know? So it's like pretty much timing and, and technique, you know? Okay, you know? Let's get busy. Let's get different, you know? Let's get creative. Because we don't, you know? It's the future. It's not fucking the past. You gotta do stuff that, that no one else can do, you know? Let's get busy. Jason Rapway Collins, and we're here for little trick tips. Um, we're gonna be doing the backside 360 aerial, so um, probably just break it down into little steps. We've got our little kit here to help you guys visualize if you can't do that. And um, basically, you want to start off, you know, with a, like a nice little wedge um, with the little wall on it, and. Um, you're going to want to drop into the thing and you're looking down the line trying to get in as much speed as possible. Then you spot your takeoff zone right here where you're going to take off of right and then you make your bottom turn. Now your bottom turn is going to be a little bit higher up on the wave than you, you would normally go just so you can keep your speed up through your bottom turn. Get a little projection off this lip right here right and you're gonna wanna tuck your head a little bit and that's gonna help your board spin around, right? Sometimes you land on the lip backwards or on the flats. And um, once you land, you're gonna wanna stomp it down a little bit, right? So, you know, make sure those fins get in there so you have a little more, you know, something to catch on so you can spin it around or whatever, you know? And uh, if you wanna lay back, whatever, that's kinda cheating, but 
can pull it, you can pull it, whatever. Um, want to go through it one more time. Uh, drop in, go down the line, get some speed, do your bottom turn a little bit higher. Boom, hit the lip a little bit later than you would to do your regular off the lip. And boom, get some projection out into the wave so you can keep going once you land. And once you land, you want to stomp it down. And that way, your fins will catch and spin you back around. So then you're gone. It's all there. You just got to do it and try hard. And You know, you're not going to pull it the first time. It took me probably so long to do it, you know, 500 times before I even, like, got close. And it feels awkward at first, but you just have to keep doing it. And that's the basic thing. You know, it's just like any other sport, whatever. You have to do it, practice and practice and practice. And eventually it's going to happen. That's all there is to it. You know, if you give up, then of course you're not going to pull it. I still express, yo, I don't smoke weed or cess. Bitch! 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 What's up? This is Andy Irons. Hi, my name is Chris, and this is Malia Ward, and we'll be explaining to you the 360 frontside air. First of all, you pump down the line, get an open wave. Look at them. Add a lip for this type of maneuver. You want to look for the, the steepest part of the wave, maybe before the lip starts breaking. So you've got, got a good ramp going. It looks like that's a good section. Just fly, hit the lip, try to go off the lip. It's real front side 360 airs are about. And once you've launched off the top of the lip, you want to grab control of your board. And once you're over your board, you want to start rotating inward toward the wave. Kicking your back foot out helps you rotate. The landing, you want to look for a, a smooth, either foamy part of the wave, you know, like where it's maybe where the lip's not throwing down so hard where it's not going to like break your board or something. You want to kind of find the, where it's already been broken, you know, you want to find a mushy landing so it's soft and you don't, you don't get hurt. Usually you land backwards. You land backwards, you slide backwards for a while and rotation, spin around, there you go. Front side 360 here. When I'm gonna do one of these layback snaps, How's it going? I'm Jay Larson. I'm here with uh, Quick Tricks. <laughs> cheap, cheap tricks for the the cautious. <laughs> for the sluts. <laughs> hey, how's it going? I'm Jay Larson, and I want all you guys to check out. Dude, 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 you got I'm, I'm like looking at both you guys and you already checked it. Close your eyes, dude. You guys already like give yeah, me a little smirk. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. And I want all you guys to check out. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Keep thinking of freaking chicks. Okay, <laughs> Chick tips. <laughs> Chick's tips. Wow. I'm almost. The reason why I do. <laughs> Oh, I'm buried fucking attack of the bugs.
fucking ma. Types of maneuvers because, you know, there's only. I mean. Because, <laughs> like, you know, they're flipping their boards around now with varials and people are trying kick flips and stuff and, and on long boards and shit. Cooks. <laughs> but, uh, and it's not. So, um, you know, if you have a funky style and you have some wide stance or something, maybe try to get in the tricks or something because it could pay off. What's up? This is Jason Rapoy Collins, and you guys are going to witness some good airs and um, actually get to kind of know how to do them, and uh, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> but, uh, I know, I can't even think of one right there. <laughs> and um, I'm sure you'll be amazed at it, so, uh, oh, you blew it. <laughs> Take 12. I like the red. What's up? This is Jason Rapway Collins, and what are you doing? I'm gonna kill you. We're trying to. Do, I've been in here for like ten minutes trying I'll to leave. do this. I'm I'll losing leave. it. <laughs> Way out of bounds. Ow! 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 I can't see it, Shay. Where'd he... <laughs> How you doing? This is Shay Lopez. I want you to check out Trick Tips, Snapping Trill Production. so we can do this. Um, swing your shoulders and your, and your upper body. Upper body. What was the fucking rotate? The rotate. rotate. Okay. 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 Just take two. Just starting from me. You can do this front side or back side. This car coming. The more speed you have, the higher you can build to go. You spot a maneuver. <laughs> and um, a, lot of, a lot of the pros are doing these right now because it's a lot of it's advanced. <laughs> See what you could if you could learn. What? You guys uh, don't be afraid to experiment out there and and try new things. Maybe ch check out this. Say create a surfing in there somewhere. You guys out there, might as well try um, some creative surfing. Check this video out, see what you can learn. Experiment. Okay. You guys out there, don't be afraid to try creative surfing. Okay. You guys out there, don't be afraid to try creative surfing. Might as well be an experiment. So don't be afraid to experiment with creative surfing. Hey, don't be afraid to experiment with creative surfing. Might as well be trying something new.